Welcome everyone, my name is Dr. Mood and welcome back to Hydronia. Yes, that is right, the game where you mine for gold. And last episode was actually really, really crazy since we have made a huge shopping trip. We have done something to our thing, to our um, system here. We added some intake boosters and we also forged two new drills, but we didn't install them. And this is why we have a big episode for today because. Yeah, we are going to be installing those and also these pants can finally go because we now have a better system. In fact, such a good system that the life is just gonna be a lot easier for us. So we just need to place those drills here because we're even gonna start with a new system. And yeah, these are automatic smelters, but we have one problem with them. Yeah, they are too high. That is actually a big problem. So I'm gonna need to make a shopping trip for that one to get some vertical conveyors. But that's fine because we can still do the drill part, right? Actually, for the drill part, we will need to buy one more straight pipe. That's sadly the case, but everything's fine, I think. And also I found some money. Just 181 randomly lying around there. That's just 22 bucks. Nothing. For us. We have had a huge cash out last episode. I think we had something like over 11k or almost 12k. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it was almost 12k. Yeah. Um, which is just absolutely crazy. Like crazy, crazy, you know? Um, but yeah, we can add those conveyor belts. To add the two new drills, we will also, we, yeah, right, we will need to buy some more pipes because of this. Because of this, Ooh, that's that's too short. It has to go right. Oh, we had it almost. Why can't we place that there? Yeah, we're gonna place the drills first, I think. So yeah, um, place one drill, place two drill. Whoa, get out of the way, please. Thank you. Then we're gonna have this one pipe right here because now we just need a. Two T-junctions and two other elbow pipes. Yeah, said we need to buy those, but I'm gonna just quickly do that. And we are back. Pipes are acquired in our little shopping cart here. We can just do one and two and three and four. Easy, two new drills are added. But we also have one more thing. Yes, it's always one more thing, isn't it? Um, but it has to be somewhere in this mess. Right, here it is. Another intake booster for our beautiful pipe here. So we can rotate another one. Now it's right there in the ground. Um, and now we have this problem right here. This is sadly a little bit too low for our stuff. But I think... Since we have the pickaxe, we can mine that out and maybe bring this down. Or we could potentially put a big floor there and then bring it a little bit more front with conveyor belts. That might also be possible. I need, I need to think. Alright, so I flattened things out and also put them a little bit lower. As you can see, I've used the pickaxe to make a few holes and then the rake to make it all nice and smooth. So now we have a little tiny bit more space to work with these here. And yeah, we can just put them on this bottom layer here. You know, we won't see any flooring when, uh, you know, we won't see any dirt shining through when we're done, I think. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, as you can see, everything's fine there. Obviously in the future we'll have a better setup, but also then we won't be in this claim anymore. So this is just very much temporary. It's, it's just good enough, I'd say. It's good enough. Um, yeah, we can. We can take this rake. Um, 
and make like these edges a little bit smoother I guess where where did these pipes come from I've just bought two straight pipes no I've bought one straight pipe why do I have two straight pipes here seems like I have made an unnecessary purchase but that's fine that's all right you know everything's fine I will definitely not go crazy but what we can now do for example for the shard bar here we can just put it in here and when we need some shards we can bring it out like that. It's cool, it's crazy, it's it's how we like it. We never need to do this anymore. This crucible, it can go. It can go in the hole of shame. Now we can put everything. We will just use this for, you know, work to make some jewelry. And this is all good. So now, what have we done in this episode already? Well, we have upgraded two more drills that we can, actually, we can turn those on. Um, extended our conveyor belt and added some auto smelters right here and yeah we will need to add one more gem compressor here maybe even another splitter to just have it look a little bit nicer you know we can just easily do that with another extension of the piping um, but yeah I think it's actually time to turn this system on and see oh yeah look at that Look at all the dirt coming in and it is automatically filling up our crucibles. And also some iron, gold. That's so cool. That's exactly what we wanted, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we also we will need to plonk these down. I don't want to take things ex accidentally out. Just like I did right here. You know? But it's fine because we can just easily resmelt those. Just like that. And now also lag won't build up, except if we have like a million machines, which we don't have. So I guess that's a win. Wait. Yeah, the last two machines are not working. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that's kind of stupid of me, you know? I forgot, I forgot to put in dirt. Obviously that's important. Are you not working? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I'm not using very low dirt. I'm not... Yes, this one's also working. I'm not d giving myself this pain. Because it's a pain in the butt. Don't get me wrong. But now everything's working. Look at how much fast everything's coming in. I think that made a big difference. I think. I mean, just look at that. That's crazy. Look at how fast everything's filling up. That, that's what we love to see and soon in this ep in this series we're probably gonna have just a whole stream of items coming in well I know it because I had it already once when I played this game so we're gonna have it twice I think but you know what since we have already made the upgrade that we probably would have done last episode um, why not make this place a little nicer so you know maybe put a little foundation right here Maybe some staircases right here, we just mine it out with a pickaxe. That might be smart, you know. Oh, we also have gems here. Hold on. Hold on, give me that magnet stick. I completely forgot about those since the start of the series. Um, whoops, don't let anything fall. These are still important to us because they create lag when they are there. Or oh, actually, they don't really. We have seen it how good it was with the um, buckets, and only they were painful when we picked those up. But still, they, they don't look good, you know. Oh, look at that, there are even bubbles in there. The iron is bubbling and the gold as well. That's really cool, that is really cool. So yeah, I would just go shopping a little bit and maybe buy some cool stuff. Oh yeah, and um, we also have this little iron bar left from our mining expedition that we can put in so that's cool now we don't need to wait to smelt up things and stuff and no more lag great oh no i flipped i have flipped not good not good if you take this path down here you're way faster at bridge pole since you don't need to make this whole swoop pro tip right there mate so since we are planning on buying something like furniture and stuff you know or at least stuff that we can buy, we will need to park in here. And also, always when we are in shop, we're gonna get the spence on the back. That's nice, so we don't need to walk as far. Thank you, truck. That's really generous of you. 
Alright, so what do we need? Well, first of all, I'm obviously thinking these double wooden stairs. At least a few of them. We're probably gonna need... Oh, actually, no, these are not gonna work. Because it's three long that we have. So it would look stupid. So we just need, I think, standard wooden stairs. I think that's fine. So we take three of those. Hold on. One, two, and... Three. Then we will also need a bunch of these just standard five buck platforms. They are super cheap but super nice. They are like the best to make things look good. Let's take a few of them. Why not? And also some of these big boys. They are a little bit annoying to get into your truck. Because they're just so big, but they fit, and you can line them up with your existing ones. So let's take like four of those, you know, just to have some some spa some space, some space to work with. Um, and then let me think, what might be cool? What might be cool? Huh? They're like pillars. Like foundation for the pillars. There's some really cool stuff in here, but I don't really think we will need any of that. I think what we could do is do some logic actually. So, yeah, just buy this. This is like 200 bucks. It's not that far much. We still have eight grand left from our huge sellout. That's cool. And now we can go to a special place. Hold on. I have changed my mind. I completely forgot what I wanted to do last episode. That was maybe buy a new vehicle. Ooh, fancy. More closely, I'm talking about this roller right here. And that is gonna be easily affordable for me. We still have 8 grand left, so we can also buy some logic. But this roller is gonna come in handy in the future. Not now, we're just gonna buy it. But in the future we're gonna use it. Mostly to clear out a huge chunk of land when we have the tier 2 miners. Um... So we can make a new claim, you know, and have it be very low and make a lot of money. Now, actually, coming to the logic stuff, we should obviously park our truck right in here. Since, you know, we want, you don't want to really carry stuff. I don't think you need to be perfectly lined up, though. Hold on, we are walking outside. Um, so yeah, get, let's get our money in here. It is still f almost six grand. Um, and, you know, you can do quite many cool things with logic, but I think one of the coolest ones are these logic valve hooks. Yeah, look at that. Even though if we are outside of the range, the price is still there because our vehicle is on there. Because then we can have just, we don't have to turn everything off and walk back there. We can just do it automatically. That is quite cool. Ooh, there is a logic destroyer. That's pretty cool. Destroyed items when switched on. Leaves no trace of them. Ooh, we also have logic smelter, I remember. And also the gem compressors. Yes, we need one of those. One more of those. Um, because we forgot to buy them last time. Oh yeah, there are the bombs. Ooh, the nukes for 26k. And it just says mini nuke. Yeah, right. We also have these logic counters. They're really cool. We can count items, but it's not super, super important. We have weight readers. They're quite cool. Content readers reads the liquid content of smelters and outputs a logic value. Oh, that's also quite cool. Yeah, cool. I don't really care. Um... We have some stuff in here, you know, button things, this keypad, we have, oh yeah, right, we will need some pipes or, you know, connectors, um, just because we will need to connect our um, button to turn off the system, you know, that we bought, uh, or better, I think it's a lever. Right for that, we will need something to power that as well. But I think it's a toggle, so we might need also a button. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything on logic in this game, you know? We have we have this stuff, but that's like just all logic. Also delays and stuff. We have some lights, they might be cool. But I think so far that we are done with this. So yeah, let's just buy this for two grand. We have some amount of money left. Go back to our plot and build stuff. Oh yeah, and also while we had that trip, man, this system has been running. This system has been running, I am telling you, and we have been making money. Money, money, money. Oh, we still went out of the bag? What? Interesting. So, alright, am I just gonna work away for now, at least? Make everything look a little bit nicer, I think. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you what happens, because... We don't really have the time that I can show you how to build it. I don't want to over time again. So yeah, I'm just going to work a little bit away on that. And then we're going to see what happens. Alright, so sad we did not have the perfect amount of these foundations. There's still a little bit there. Um, but these stairs are cool, man. Because now we can walk down. And it's way more accessible. Also, these 4x4 tiles. Man, I love them. But actually, I do want to do one thing still. And this is get this dirt away because it looks you know what it, it just looks bad it can be a lot better and this is a lot better so put this away um we still i need still need to uh, punch all of this down so bam 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 Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, also we changed this one. Okay, it looks so much more cleaner. I love it. I love it. So now, what we can still do is obviously the gem compressor. Mm, but for that, I'm gonna just quickly turn off the machine. We don't have the logic hooked up yet. It's gonna come today, hopefully. Um, because we just have two onyx. That's not very much. But also what we can easily do is just get this cork off. And just put the machine so this is on there, so we don't even need that cork anymore. That is nice. That is nice. So we can put these two onyx that we've got over the time in there. Um, and then we can get this one logic hook that we have here, right there. Yes, good. Just quickly turn this on. Pull it off. And now when we turn the machine on... Yes, look at that. It's working. So now we got everything. Which is good. That is very, very good. So now we can do the logic thing. So, we have this thing here. This is called the logic valve hook. This is quite cool, I think. So when we take this, just this normal hook off, right? We can... Um, put this hook, for example, on like that. Oh, it's turned off. Turn it on. We want to make money. <laughs> um, and when we do that, you know, we can connect that with these fancy little logic lines. Ooh, they're, they're actually really, really cool. Maybe, actually, maybe let's use a turn array, right? It does not have to be looking very good. Like I said, this is, you know, just a temporary little... Temporary little, um, this is just a temporary little setup. We will soon, I promise, we will soon move to a huge claim. It's probably gonna be South Hope. If you don't know what South Hope is, then you don't know what, it's basically the biggest claim in the game, you know? That's basically what we are trying to aim at. Have I bought too little amounts of these straights? Hopefully not. So just like that. I think we have... Oh no. We have the button. And we just have a ton of more turns, but no more straights. Oh no. Oh no. I need to go back. I need to go back. To be honest, I was not expecting to need so many of those. 
but it kind of makes sense since it's quite a long way. So we basically just park ourselves here. Whoops, we are always trying to go up the wrong side, you know what. And uh, we put our money in here and we just load this bad boy. Whoops, that's not what we want, we have enough of those. We just load this bad boy up to the max. Like, not to the max, you know, also because we don't have unlimited money. But we will quite many. How expensive are these? 84, that's... That's a lot. You know what, we are already at one grand. But I think I'm gonna, just gonna go at one and a half grand of the price. So we are all sorted. Because that's important. We are also over time again. But we make huge progress each episode, that's great. So one and a half grand, we have now just 2.4 grand. That's not much compared to what we had before. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Also when I'm here, I usually just go out this way. And just hop over here. <laughs> so you can go back quite easily. Oh, we are back. We are so back, baby. With a lot more of these. But maybe we already went too far? Yes, I think so. Maybe it's not stupid to have one of these turns here. Then just... Yeah, because we are here. This is basically where I wanted to go. We have bought way too many of these. Mm -hmm. I just realized. Way too many. Look at the amount. That is stupid. That is so stupid. Alright, so we need one that will bring us down. Then we will need, you know, just some that go down. Actually, let's bend this. Oh, actually, at least we had the perfect amount of uh, turns. Yeah, look at that. We have made way too many of these, but at least we have this cool button here. Um, no, that's too high. That is definitely too high. So we will still need at least this one straight piece. You will be used, my friend. Alright, so with each of these clicks... With each of these clicks, it's not working. I think we need to leave it, maybe. Where have I put it? I, I have it somewhere here. Right here. Alright. Yeah, with each of these clicks now, with this lever, we can turn this whole machine on and off and I don't need to walk back there. But yeah, with that, this has it. This is it with this episode. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. I would greatly appreciate that. And write the word automation in the comments if you are still here. So I know that you were still here. We have made huge progress. Like, look at this. The last two episodes were actually crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Especially this one with all the building. It's it's good. And we also have a finally a compressor for Onyx. Man, finally. It's just beautiful. So yeah, and with that, I may have to say... Good. Bye.